I am directing all non-essential retail businesses to indefinitely close their physical stores to the public, effective at 9 p.m. tonight. He wants us to stay home and close retail businesses because of the pandemic. And effective this evening at 9 p.m., Governor Murphy has issued an executive order to limit people traveling. Non-essential people should stay home. Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. A lot has happened since my last vlog here on YouTube, which was the other day. I also uploaded a video all over on Storyfire, guys, so make sure you go follow me over on Storyfire to never miss out on any videos that I post here on the internet. Mom, what's with the massive amount of pork chops and also why do we got... I just... I'm trying to ask you a question. Why do we got pancakes and pork chops? What? Your sister-in-law got a promotion, so I'm celebrating her promotion later, but I'm busy reading about Governor Murphy. He, um... What about the governor? He wants us to stay home and close retail businesses because of the pandemic and non-essential people. Murphy orders New Jersey residents to stay home. Hold on, go up. I want to read the rest of that title. Murphy orders New Jersey residents to stay home, closes non-essential retail businesses in the state lockdown to fight the pandemic. That, that's a joke, right? Or is that actual seriousness? Ah, uh, it's serious. It's going in effect tonight. Governor Phil Murphy on Saturday announced he's putting New Jersey into a virtual lockdown to combat the spread of the pandemic, ordering the residents to stay at home and mandating that non-essential retail business be closed until further notice. The order also bans mm -hmm. public gatherings and seek to keep New Jersey residents off the road. Uh, the measure will go in effect 9 p.m. Saturday, Murphy said while announcing, okay... Oh my gosh, we have over 1,300 cases? Yeah. What? I just read how many cases are in our town now, so... How many do we have now? I know as of yesterday, we had one. Did it go up? We have five. What the? All right, stay away from me. I don't know where you've been. There's five in Lacey. Dude, this is not good at all, guys. Uh, looks like... In a few hours tonight, we're going to be going uh, on a lockdown, which actually, you know what? I think we're going to put the drone up tonight around 9 p.m. to see if people are actually following the governor's orders to stay off. What were you just highlighting? Oh, it's just reading about who can go to work. Like, your brother can go to work because he's in construction. Oh, okay. Shipping, food production, food delivery. So places like GameStop that consider themselves essential personnel have to be closed. Yes. They're Suck that one, GameStop. They're a retail store. So, yeah, they're going to be shut down. Okay. This is interesting, it, guys. It doesn't have to do with health and stuff like that that have to be shut down. So, like, essential personnel-wise, like, I'm so good to go to the firehouse then, technically, right? Yeah, you're essential personnel. So, I go there and work out. So, guys, that's a plus. We're still getting the gains. I am absolutely happy. But the only thing I'm not happy about now is uh, these cupcakes are right here. And I can't eat one. So that absolutely sucks. But with that being said, uh, I think it's time for me to actually go to the firehouse and uh, disinfect the place. As I make my way over to the firehouse right now to go disinfect the whole entire place because I am the department janitor, uh, it reminds me to say this. So every day I've been working out, you know, I've been on the daily grind of trying to get my health and uh, myself in better shape in general. I want you guys to go follow my Instagram at Jeff Saxon Vlogs so you can see every single day when I post on my story that I'm actually working out, getting fit, and just staying in shape. And the reason I say go follow my Instagram is so you guys can check out my story and also hold me accountable to make sure I'm working out every single day unless I take a rest day, which is very unlikely. I'm probably not gonna take any rest days and my personal trainer, Clay and uh, Ian, are probably gonna be mad at me that I said that. But for me, guys, I just wanna go in there, get the gains, work out, keep myself in good shape in general. I just want you guys to help hold me accountable with this weight loss and uh, kind of be on me like, Jeff, how come I didn't see on your story today that you're not working out? That kind of deal. So just follow me. If I'm not working out, give me crap on all of my social medias. Big like, Jeff, I didn't see you working out today. I feel like being held accountable by all of you guys is helpful. So by you following me and checking out my story daily over on my Instagram helps me out in a way knowing that if I miss a day or I just completely blow off doing the gym, you guys can end up commenting like on one of my recent photos or even on my Twitter or whatever. Like, Jeff, we didn't see you work out today. Uh, make sure you get to the gym right now. We want to see you working out. So, yeah. With that being said, this lighting is horrible, and we're just going to cut to the next, like, ah! 
I do have to say, even though we're in a major pandemic at the moment, I am very thankful that I'm able to still work out and at least get in shape. As you guys know, like my biggest issue the past few years has been my weight, honestly. My ultimate goal is to get around the 200 pound mark, maybe even a little bit below than that. But being able to have the ability to still work out, I am very thankful for it because I know a lot of people are not as fortunate as I am to be able to go to a gym still and work out. And that's kind of why I'm like telling you guys like, hey, help hold me accountable. Like if you can't work out right now, I want you to make sure to help hold me accountable that I still am. I know I've been preaching that for like the past few moments of this vlog. I just want you guys to know like, I appreciate it during the time even when I wasn't working out people saying yo Swift I've noticed you gained weight like bro how come you're not in the gym anymore did you just give up and I you know as much as I hated seeing those comments because I'm like damn they're right I appreciate it at the same time because I knew the moment I get back into it you guys are going to continue supporting me which I honestly do appreciate and here I am being able to still work out and you know like even I might do a vlog where I can actually show you guys some workouts you can do uh, if you don't still have access to gym right now. Let me know down below in the comment section if that's something you'd like to see. So in all seriousness, as you guys know, we are facing a major pandemic. I keep saying that in the vlog. Unfortunately, you can't say the name of it or your video get demonetized, which means I could care less about the money aspect, but the point I do care about is it doesn't get shown to your potential reach and your audience. So what I gotta do right now is uh, go around the whole entire firehouse and disinfect doors, the soda machine, counters, actually even the fire trucks where the door handles on the trucks that have been used recently. I can't use this to wipe some things down. I know people probably would. Uh, instead, I got this, which, you know, happens to uh, disinfect 99% of uh, things and things because I, I can't say that those words right there because I'd, once again, probably get this video demonetized. In the meantime, I have to go wipe some things down, so I'll catch up with you guys while I'm done. Reason number 99 out of a million why I do not like this pandemic is taking a lot of things away from me, including hockey, which is something I absolutely love watching. I'm a big New Jersey Devils fan, and well, thankfully, for the remainder of the season, the Devils are simulating the games of what they're they should be playing like tonight they should be playing the new york islanders so what the devils are doing is they got nhl 20 right here going and uh, if this will focus in as you guys can see right now with uh, less than 10 seconds left here in the first period the devils lead with a goal from jack hughes so let's see what do the devils do right here they uh they're gonna get the puck nope the islanders got the puck islanders are gonna devils get it out let's go let's go baby Hopefully the Devils win this game uh, for the remainder of the simulation. I gotta say though, if you're an NHL team, right, and you want to keep your fans happy, you want to keep the hockey fans happy, obviously we're upset because there is no hockey going on. This is the best thing you can do. Just simulate the games, live stream them for the fans to see, and uh, honestly, I gotta say, it's pretty cool. So th New Jersey Devils, thank you. I appreciate it as a Devils fan and a hockey fan in general. Anyways, I just got done disinfecting the whole entire firehouse and you can tell I did that because uh, I got bleach all over my shirt now, which as you guys know, bleach and like fabric doesn't mix well and yeah, it just ruined my t-shirt. Anyways, in an hour and 12 minutes, uh, the state of New Jersey goes on a lockdown, which is pretty cool, I guess. Actually, I do want to know where you guys are from uh, watching this vlog and also uh, how many cases are in your state and is your state on lockdown yet? If not, do you think it's coming soon? Uh, because, you know, I thought, I thought this was going to happen pretty sooner in New Jersey and uh, it finally just happened like after a week and a half so thankfully we're kind of having some kind of government lockdown going on tonight which leaves me with an idea around 9 30 p.m i kind of want to put my drone up and see what is going on with my neighborhood since it's going to be lit up anyway with the street lights i want to see if people are going to be following the government mandate earlier today i actually got this text Effective this evening at 9 p.m., Governor Murphy has issued an executive order to limit people traveling. Non-essential people should stay home. Now that's actually what I like to hear is non-essential people just stay home. Don't go out unless you like need food, water, food, no toilet paper. You guys already bought all that. But people just in general, if you do not have to be out to go get something that is very essential for you to live, just stay home. You'd be doing everybody a favor in case you're actually contaminated. As you guys can see right now, my drone is up in the air. It is pretty dark. All you just see are the lights going on on the houses. If you hear that beeping right now, none of my drone batteries were fully charged, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is what everything looks like right now. It doesn't seem like many people are outside, so that is a plus. 
Okay, I should have honestly charged all my batteries before. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Before flying today. I knew, I honestly knew I should have charged the batteries. I'm literally at 21% on my drone right now. Let's see, I don't see any car lights going around, so. I mean, that's plus, like, no, not many people are actually on the road and people might be at home sleeping. I don't know. Like, all right, over there in the distance, that looks like, like, the Home Depot. Yeah, that's definitely Home Depot over there. Let me see. Where's my drone facing? All right, yeah, so it's facing towards Home Depot and all that. And you got a main road right next to my house here. And it looks like nobody's not even on that. It looks like everybody is literally... Ugh, I gotta return it home. Alright. Well, anyways, I gotta fly the drone back to my house right now. But it looks like everybody is actually taking the, uh, the lockdowns pretty serious. I mean, the fact that nobody's on the road at 10.30 at night on a Saturday evening... Honestly, uh, I'm pretty surprised about that. I'm gonna stop the drone recording because I'm on a low battery and... Uh, I got to try now landing this so guys uh, give me a second I'll pick the vlog back up as soon as I get the drone to land of course of course of course I would crash my drone Hopefully it's okay Okay, oh, I don't know how it landed upside down, but uh, I mean I'll take it. Let's go. We gotta go back home Okay, everything on the drone uh, appears to be all right. This is just a little a little roughed up and actually a little bit warm, but guys, that's gonna conclude it for today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos here on the channel. Until next time, it's been your boy Jeff, keeping it real. I'm gonna log out, I'm gonna peace out, and well, peace.